Welcome to a video from thedislife.com. New Windows 11 build to look at. This is 25201 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel into the uh, 252 range now. A uh, couple interesting things on this. First of all, there's a down there's an ISO download of this as well. So if you're um, if you want to try a clean install of Windows 11, you can get the ISO. You can use it on a virtual machine like I'm doing it here, or you can use it to upgrade an existing machine. So uh, you can check that out. So the first things Microsoft talk about is expanding widgets um, and again victim of the Microsoft's policy of rolling out to a small set of insiders. So what I should see here is a uh, expand button that takes this to full screen and then a button to collapse that again. Uh, I'm not seeing that because my machine is in that um, small set of uh, insiders that are getting that uh, new feature. But you'll see the, the little icon there to expand it to be honest i don't use widgets that much but it would be nice to try it out and it remembers it as well which is which is good another new feature that i can't show because it hasn't rolled up to my machine is the game pass up here on the widgets it would it would show um, previously played games that kind of thing so if you're a game pass user that's actually quite handy the rest of the changes are uh, mainly around fixes um so the um, search in taskbar changes and visualizations that they've been trying with they're just reverting, re reverting them back to normal now so they've they just putting these back to back to normal they um, they, they were just testing some stuff out on that file Ex explorer will now show results as you type so if i type uh, start searching for a video There you can see it's starting to show those results as I'm typing, which is which is quite good. Um, they also fixed the memory leak as well, so the um, file explorer doesn't have a memory leak, which is which is definitely good. Um, oh, also they've done the taskbar. They've um, it should look correct when it's got a. Arabic or Hebrew display language, they fix some OneNote input issues, they fix some widget issues, the banner notifications, they fix some issue and issue windowing issues, and they fix some issues with uh, Task Manager as well. So don't forget Task Manager is the updated one. And they fix some issues with Sandbox. There's still some known issues with this build that they're looking into. Uh, mentioned in there is about the audio. I've not seen that at all. My this is a virtual machine, but on my Surface Go, I don't have that issue and uh, app crashing on startup i haven't seen that issue either and uh, the tablet optimized taskbar um i haven't got received that feature yet so there are some known issues for it like it flashing between different postures and uh, some quick settings not working but i can't test that because i haven't got that update i'm hoping that this new build will bring that as well so i did show that in last week's video because i, I have a video from it from when they enabled that last time and um so those are the main issues with this build. Uh, good to see Microsoft working on these builds, but uh, I've been asked to have some new stuff to play with. And I really wish they rolled out the features a bit quicker to, to or roll out the features to a larger insider group. So we could actually do some testing of it rather than having a small set that they currently do. Don't forget you can get the ISO. That's 25201 for Windows Inside the Dev Channel. You can find out more at Please like and subscribe if you do like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.